Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take a quick look at the board game Wrong Chemistry. Wrong Chemistry is for two to four players, ages eight and up, and the average play time is about 30 minutes. In this game, players are going to be trying to score points by moving parts of a molecule around in order to create elements. Let's just take a quick look at the components and how the game is played. Okay, and these are the basic components of the game. You've got six yellow hexes. You've got one center blue hex, uh, which has the name of the game on it. You've got some white and black discs, and you've got a bunch of cards. The cards themselves uh, list a particular bogus element based off of an actual element on the periodic table. For example, this card says uh, helium on it, and that makes fun of helium. Now, also on the card uh, lists a particular design and also a point value or an idea value up in the upper left-hand corner of the card. Just keep this in the back of your mind for a moment. Now, at the beginning of the game, um, players are going to get four cards. Players can look at them. And at this point, they're going to pick one of their cards um, and put it face down on the table. Uh, what they're going to be trying to do is pick a card with the lowest atomic number possible. The atomic number being this very small number listed in the upper right hand corner of the card. In this case, helium has an atomic number of two. So if I were to play this at the beginning of the game, um, that would be ideal. And once players pick a card and put it face down, they'll all compare cards and the player with the lowest uh, atomic number will get to go first. Players then discard the card that they used and then draw another one so that their hand size is four. Okay, now before the game officially starts, um, players will go ahead and place the uh, white and black discs on these yellow hexes as appropriate. Um, you can also compare that to this Restartium card, which I'll explain in a minute. But this Restartium card basically outlines how the board will look in its default state. Okay, now on a player's turn, they'll be allotted four action points that they'll be allowed to use. Now, there's a lot of different actions, so bear with me. One action might be to take a disc that's already on the board and simply removing it uh, off of the board. That would be one action point. Another action that a player could do uh, is simply to take one that's already on the board and move it to another empty hex. It's important to note that you're limited to uh, one disc per hex. Another action that a player might uh, make use of is taking one that's already off of the board and putting it onto a hex. Again, you're limited to one disc per hex. Now, let's assume that uh, these two are empty. Um, another action a player can take is moving one of the yellow hexes to a different spot on the playing area. Let's say a player were to do this. That would be considered one action. The hex must be empty, and um, you cannot move this blue hex. That's very important. This is considered the center of the molecule and it cannot be moved. Also on a player's turn, uh, they can choose to discard a card from their hand. Finally, a player can make use of this Restartium card. Um, this is basically a special ability. Uh, once per turn, a player can reset the board by moving everything back to the way it was uh, in its default state. So that would mean that this would go here and this would go here. And again, you can only do that once per turn. Now, there are a number of actions that don't cost any sort of energy whatsoever, or action points. Um, this extra movium card, for example, is a special ability. Players can make use of it whenever they want to. Basically, they can discard any card that's in their score pile for three extra action points. So, um, if you think you can score big by sacrificing one of your scored cards, then you can make use of that. Also, um, and this is how you actually earn points in this game, if uh, you happen to get any cards in your hand that matches the current pattern on the board, uh, you can put the card into your score pile. In this particular instance, uh, let's go ahead and match these up here. Alright, two black there, one there, a white one there, and a black one down here. Alright, now in this particular instance, this card would match the current pattern on the board. 
And because of that, the player could, uh, again, energy free, go ahead and place this card into their score pile. Now at the end of the game, uh, this idea number up here, which uh, is 1, would uh, count toward their score. And I'll explain scoring in a minute. All right, and at the end of a player's turn, they'll just simply draw up again to a hand size of four. In this case, I have two cards left in my hand, so I just simply draw two from the deck. And that's basically it. Players are going to take turns uh, adjusting this molecule uh, in an effort to match the patterns that are listed on the cards in their hands. Um, as you can see, some patterns are more difficult than others, uh, but it's worth it. This one's in particular is worth two idea points. This one is worth three. So uh, the harder the pattern, the more points you earn. And uh, once the draw pile runs out, if a player cannot draw up to a hand size of four, the game ends and players uh, compare their score piles. To do that, you would just simply take um, all of your cards in your score pile and add up the idea points in the upper left hand corner. And that would be uh, a total. Now, Players can earn bonus points by creating runs. Uh, basically what that means is um, they would look at the atomic number. Let's see if I can zoom in on these. Um, I've got a 14, 15, and a 16. That would be a run of three cards. Uh, 14, 15, and 16. So that would mean three bonus points plus the idea points that I would earn, one, two, and three. So I would earn six points for having these three cards in my score pile. Okay, and just to quickly illustrate all of those different roles, um, AJ, Vinny, and I uh, are going to go ahead and play a few practice rounds. I dealt four cards to each player. We're going to go ahead and pick one of uh, these cards to put down face down uh, so that we can compare atomic numbers. So we flip those over, and you've got 24, I've got uh, 11, and you've got 4. So AJ gets to go first because he has the lowest atomic number. We discard those cards and we draw one to replenish our hand back up to four. All right, and because AJ had the lowest atomic number, he gets to go first. So four action points to use for this turn. One, two, three, Okay, and Junior, your turn. One, two, four. Okay. All right, my turn. Um, let's see how I could possibly make any matches out of these. That one might be a little difficult based on what I see there. Um, this one, on the other hand, might be doable, and maybe that one too. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. I'll do one, two, three, remove. Four. Now, energy free, I can go ahead and put that into my score pile because this matches. What is that? Come that on. is manganese. Manganese. <laughs> Instead of manganese. Okay. Alright, so that would end my turn, and uh, AJ would go now. One, two, three, four. Did you guys draw up to four cards? Uh... That you were the only one who... Okay, yeah. I missed that. Oh. Alright. AJ took his four. Junior, you can go ahead and take your four. Very good. Okay. So, let me see that. Balloonium. Balloonium. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So there you go. That matches that pattern. So you're good to go. You can put that in your score pile. You drew up to four cards. Now him doing that actually helped me out because 
I needed these three to be there in order to do what I'm going to do. So, let's go ahead and take this out for one action. And I'll do two, three, four. Now that matches this card. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into my score pile. And uh, that will end my turn. Okay, I jumped ahead just a little bit to save on time. Um, I'm going to attempt to try and form that one, if at all possible. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Um, actually, I think I can. It's my turn? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move this one up like so. And that actually, for that one action, scored this Cassium. <laughs> so there's that. That's worth uh, two idea points. So I'm going to go ahead and score that. And I have three action points left to use. Um, goodness. There's that. I'm going to go ahead and use the Restartium ability to re uh, for one action to reset everything back to the way it was in its default state. That would move these here, here. Ooh. There we go. That's two action points. I got two left. Um... That might work. Three and four. Remove those two. All right, AJ, your turn. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, wait a second. You're here. Oh well. Four. four. Okay. Yep. That's one messed up molecule. Okay, now at this point in the game, um, we're just going to go ahead and uh, simulate that we actually finish the game. Now, the game isn't over yet because the draw pile is not out, but it would take us another about half an hour to go through that. So, uh, to save on time and battery power for my camera, um, we're just going to go ahead and pretend like we finished the game. And what we would do is we would simply take the score pile that we have and add up the idea points in the upper left-hand corner. Um, in this case, let's see if I can zoom in on my cards. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, six. So six points. Now, are any of these runs of three or more? In this case, uh, no. Seven, 17, 18, 25, 55. Um, this 17 and 18 is close. If I had a 19, I could have had an extra three bonus points there, but um, unfortunately, no. So there's that. I had six points. What do you kids? I had 10. 10. There you go. And Vinny, did you count up your idea points? Yeah, 11. 11, okay. Good job. And there you have it. That's just a very quick look at the game Wrong Chemistry. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Uh, you can check out my review at www.dadsgamingaddiction.com or you can click on the link in the below description. That'll take you there as well. This is Vince, Vinny Jr., and AJ. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. See ya.